Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the number six seed representing Singapore, Derek Wong. Please welcome the number two seed representing India, Parupali Kasha. So our third gold medal match is the men's singles final. Derek Wong for Singapore against Parapali Kashyap from India. And for the first time since Steve Badley of England won this gold medal way back in 1986, the men's singles title at the Commonwealth Games will not be claimed by a Malaysian. They have dominated this event since uh, the mid 80s no singaporean has ever won this title just the one indian side modi in brisbane in 1982 i'm david mercer and alongside me for the men's final is former world number one morton frost i suppose morton we're not surprised that cash up who was the bronze medalist four years ago is in the final but Derek Wong, uh, that is quite a story, particularly because in the semi-finals against another Indian, who recited, he was down a game and he was down 14-19. Yes, you're so right. It's uh, it's unbelievable. It's uh, a wonderful story here. Being asked before the tournament, I would never have predicted Derek Wong in this final, but he has really earned it. He's 25 years of age, born in Singapore, which is a little unusual in the sense that many of their top badminton players have come from other nations. They have a policy of recruiting athletes from other nations. This is his route through, so uh, comfortable in the early stages against Jersey, Seychelles and Jamaica. And then you can see he's put out two Indians in a row Kidambi Shrikant was beaten 21-12 in the third game and Gura Saidut 21-15 in the third game. Could he possibly do a hat-trick by beating three Indians in successive matches? Only time will tell. Let's see. Garapali Kashap, 27 years of age from the state of Maharashtra. Now living in Hyderabad where the Indian uh, Babbitton squad have their base four years ago got a silver in the team event and a bronze in the singles losing in the semi-final to England's Rajiv Yusuf who he beat in another classic match yesterday 18 21 21 17 21 18 just wearing down Yusuf in the end having lost to Yusuf in the team competition and funnily enough four years ago he'd beaten Yusuf in the team competition but lost to him in the semi-finals of the individual the world rankings of the two men well cash up is 22 in the world Wong 40 in the world the head-to-head -head, it's 2-1 in favor of cash up but all three matches were played back in 2012 so we can to a certain extent ignore them we have a Mauritian umpire and a Malaysian service judge, Tioki and you, the service judge. An interesting contrast in styles in prospect here. Yes, uh, Kashyap will be defending and Derek Wong will be on the attack as much as possible. And on my left, Parupali Kashyap, India. Ah, he's back. It's not Joseph in the amazing color dream coat, but it's an amazing colored hat. Play. Wong serving.
More Indian men singles players in the top 100 of the world rankings than any other country. Yeah, India is doing extremely well in men's singles. Kashyap has been, I know he's 20 in the world ranking now, but he's been all the way up to five. And 2012 was a fantastic year for him, where he got to the quarterfinal of the Olympics in London as well. So, so that was really good. That was a fantastic year for him. Uh, lately, he had an injury. Um, in, I think it was in February, March, and uh, that has kept him a little bit out of the game, and therefore his ranking has has, has dropped a bit. Mentioned that Kashyap won the bronze. This man reached the quarterfinals of the singles in uh, Delhi. Ooh, late change of mind by the service judge, but I think the correct change of mind. Originally, she was pointing forward. Mm. But it is out, no doubt. The interesting part for me in, all the, in this match as well is that, uh, as you very rightly pointed out, Kashyap had such a hard match yesterday against Rajiv Usef of, India, of England and it went on for one hour and 23 minutes. And, you know, the big question mark for me is, is that sitting in his legs? Now that Wong was just asking our umpire, did he foul the net or did he hit the shuttle before it came over the net? Yes. Either of them would have given Wong the point. No. But... Wow. Yeah. That's fantastic pictures. It's really, really good camera work here, and that's not normally what we see. So, but I think actually it was a fault. Looking at what we saw there, it was a fault. I agree. I think he played it before it crossed the net. That's all history now. Can't be changed. Bisht always gets very emotional, very involved on the Indian bench. And a very, very good start for Kashyap. he's got to attack he's not going to ask at last cash up Drop shot. Played by Kashyap. Six, 
So as you can see, it's it's all about setting up the initiative at the net. It's uh, really a very important part of men's singles is who is winning the net. And uh, that's where they're desperately trying to, to get that initiative. As you can see here, you've got a wonderful lift for Kasha and he's able to finish it down the line. And that's what it's all about in men's singles. Get that control of the net. Incredible elevation on the jump smash. There we go. Standing high jump. Yes. Babbitton competitors would be pretty much up there. We would do well. <laughs> Palela Gopichand, the chief Indian coach, a former All England champion. And I'm just thinking, Morton, what a contrast with that semi final. I mean, we, we played 18 points in seven minutes, and, and yesterday you felt like every rally was taking seven minutes. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, in all honesty, the, the quality of this first half of the first game has not been the best. Quite a few mistakes seconds. has crept in, but uh, I'm sure it's, it's all down to the fact that none of these players has ever been in the final before. Kashyap has to start thinking about when he's playing his low serve that he's going to push that serve further into the court so Derek Wong is not able to play these tight net spins because that's all his game his game is really about getting that lift from the beginning so in in order to avoid that for Kashyap he should serve it further into the court He slipped a bit, but uh, maintained playing a very nice shot. Again, winning the net exchange. Yeah, but that's, that's part of the tactical plan, I'm sure, because I would say we all know that Derek Wong, he's so desperate to need that, at uh, that attack and initiative which means that uh, he will play the net uh, under those circumstances. And once again, a good smash down the line, not opening up cross court. That's the sort of sustained attack that the Singaporeans got to uh, put together. Yeah, Kashyap tried really to get away with that cross-court lift, but he did not. Wong was there anticipating it. Yeah. That's the sort of game Derek Wong wants to play. And he played it to perfection here. Very nice drop shot. Look at that lift. And a big power smash. Well, a little 
survival here from uh, Wong. And remember how he came back from almost certain defeat against Urasaidut in the semi-finals. Kung Dong is the uh, coach of Derek Wong. Yeah, Chris Mash down the line here. But I think Kasia really has to try to fight a little bit more for that initiative. He's too eagerly giving it away and then depending on his uh, defence. And we will probably see something different now. And then the follow-up, yes. See, that's totally different then. Finn's fished and he is ready now. I think he played too passively in the last four points for Derek Wong to score them all four. Uh, body smash but not only that look at this the follow-up that came after that here the lift is coming but have a look here that follow-up look he is on the way forward which is very nice that's good badminton total balance and he's following up on his shot and of course if you smash straight the return is going to almost certainly come straight you have to be a very very good player to play anything but See so many service errors in singles as you do in doubles, where obviously the serve has to be so tight. Yeah, that's why left. Derek Wong is playing with a drift. That's what we've seen so many times in this tournament. It's difficult to lift from that end where Derek Wong is standing now. Seven game points then. Yeah, so far it's been very easy for Kashap. Hasn't really been put that much under pressure. The 
opening game then goes to Paripali Kashyap in just a quarter of an hour. Well, apart from that one run of uh, four successive points uh, shortly after the mid-game interval when Derek Wong uh, closed the gap to uh, just a couple of points, Kashyap always in charge. And it is uh, so fascinating to see the complete contrast in tactics of the Indian compared with yesterday against Usef when his clear tactic was to simply wear down his opponent. They're having a ball. <laughs> They're having a good time. That's nice to see. Twenty-one fourteen. Now, can we have a slightly more competitive second game? Derek Wong needs to start better. I possibly think that Derek Wong should try to start to add on some pressure into the uh, deep corners of Kashyap and not only rely on playing the pressure shots from the net. Just round the line, I think. Wong that is asking. Is close. But there was no need for Cash Up to go that close. Derek Wong was way out of the game. So he could have nicely placed it into that open gap. He did really not have to go that tight. And once again, this is what I tried to explain in the first game. Kashyap have to serve further into the court for Derek Wong not to be able to that, uh, get that close to the, uh, the net as what we see here. That's a very nice lift. said it, Norton, he pinned him in his backhand corner. He really did, and that was a good follow-up. And this is a very different Derek Wong, what we saw here in this rally. Completely different, a lot, lot more patient, and that's what I think he should do, because every time the lift is coming, he's going for that major attack, and he's got to vary it a lot, lot more, otherwise it's too simple for Cash Up to counter-attack it. This is interesting because uh, Derek Wong is winning this point not from one of his big smashes but from a mistake from Kasia because he was given the opportunity to make a mistake. Ooh, and he defended so well there.
Yeah, that was the reaction of the Singapore squad. Yeah, too keen to kill it. A slightly different reaction from uh, Maramita Wischt. never seen cash up eating uh, in the middle of a match as what I saw here so definitely something to do with his long long match of yesterday his back on it and all uh, Wong had to do was just push it in the open court actually push it a little bit close to cash up who might have suddenly sprung into action yeah but it was too dangerous for cash up uh, if he was going for one of the power smashes he was standing too close well as you were saying this is a different Derek Wong now Uh, the variation is much better now he's uh, using more tools to penetrate the defense of, uh, of cash up and he's not making it so easy for uh, for him to predict it so this is a much better opening for the singaporean Left, but not enough depth. <laughs> Similar story. Kasha have to be a little bit careful here because he's setting everything up around the net now and it's once again that's what we just discussed earlier becoming a little bit too simple so obviously he's been very successful doing it but he's got to use all of other facilities in his game as well point that now he's lost the last two he won two and now he lost two and now he lost another one it could be a sign of uh, cash up really trying to to win easy points it's been called good Derek Wong was very surprised by that he's not happy on the sideline No, 
Right on the left of that front row is uh, Derek Wong's girlfriend, Vanessa Neo, who's the Singapore mixed doubles player. Kashab have to watch yeah. out. He's got to be prepared to work harder. She's right on the end of the left hand end of that row we're looking at. Yeah, that's better. He's got to be prepared to, to work harder, no doubt. He's taking too many chances. And Derek Wong is playing well. So a complete contrast in this second game. In the first, cash up. Led 11-7 at the interval. Now it's Wong 11-6. Kung Dong, I'm sure, have been very encouraged by the first half of the second game. Yeah, I think the coach was uh, urging uh, Derek Wong to get even earlier on some of his shots in order to Never apply some more pressure. That's what I meant. Uh, normally, Derek Wong would have played a drop shot back, but this time he played it flat. Look at that, flat into that deep backhand corner, and he won on it. That's what I was trying to explain earlier. Have to mix it up. Wonderful defence here by Derek Wong. Quite spectacular. That's a poor error. Nearer the outside line than the inside. And that one lends well in. Just have to apply a little bit more patience as what he did in the opening of this second game, and uh, I think he will be standing very good chances of winning this second.
Mm. Fabulous. Just fell back on cash up side. Good defensive work by Derek Wong, given the opportunity, and he missed it, and he could not believe that. Here once again, and look at this, that one jump to the backhand side to cover. That's really, really good play. Another service error by Cash up this time going long. And that's good. Right on the sideline. cross court from virtually off the floor that is over. yeah that's Level. good playing that's a very nice rescue a shot but that one I would have loved him to go straight down the line on that very flat shot he is playing here rather than going cross as what he did go down the line turn of events here. Yes, complete turnaround. Derek Wong claims the second game 21-11 and after, after 35 minutes of play it's one game all. Yeah. 
是开局嘛，关键是开局抓住了。但是，没问题，对，但是都赢过。Every point you can try. I think Gubijan here wanted his player to move faster in and play some really good fast overhead shots. suspect we will see a more proactive cash up now than what we saw in the second game where he was completely just reacting to whatever Wong was throwing at him. shuttle should be changed he wasn't entirely keen now Wong is standing on the far side and the new shuttle is the fast shuttle so uh, he's got to watch out on the baseline shots in the first uh, two or three ones he's playing that one he should watch out he did well That's what his coach wanted. Get up early there, the net, and play that fast lift over the head of Derek Wong. But Wong's defense is proving tough to break down. This is the one. Good play by Kasia. service line judge now once we're down to one court and this one was left but was on the line Come on! Oh, great reactions yeah well covered by cash up a good play by Derek Wong. He's doing everything he should do.
This time we had a tight start to a game. Cash up making a couple of errors on the net. Yeah, he's looking for easy solutions here. Still trying to play them too tight to the net. Incidentally, sorry for the little breakup of pictures. So radio camera suddenly lost signal. Good change of serve here by Kashyap, not able to capitalise on it. I'm making a lot of unforced errors lately. That one is a, an unforced one. Turn of serve, pounced on it. What is this? asking the players not to delay before. Serving. Oh. Uh, nice kick by Kasha, but uh, Eric one quite unlucky not to win it. I think he had a very commanding situation there. But Kashap's defence took the pressure. into the corner. Do you think we were back in Delhi? <laughs> yeah, very nice support for Kashyap in the arena at the moment. Prayers being said. It was a good shot by Cash Up, but very well attacked by Wong at the net, and Cash Up was totally out of balance and couldn't get to that net play. Well, Cash Up's enraged by that decision. Uh, I think he's desperately trying to influence the, the line judge. He's been uh, shouting on the last four or five points at every single one of them. So 11-8 to Wong, and we wonder if, yep, again, history is going to be made in the Commonwealth Games because we've had the first ever husband and wife winning the mix, the first Canadian winning the women's singles. Could we have the first Singaporean to win the men's singles? Uh, 
have a look at this penultimate point prior to the interval. That's the one that Kashup. And Derek Wong was quick to respond and say, shush, it was wide. And that was the line judge making her decision clear. Well, as a neutral, you really wanted a competitive final game, and we've certainly got that. This is turning out to be a very, very tense match. Yeah. The comeback continues. Kashup narrows the gap to just a single point, having won three in a row. That's a fantastic lift by Wong. This is the best rally of the match by far. And therefore very important that Kashup won it. Very, very important rally for Kashup here. Being 14-11 down could be devastating. 12-13 is a lot, lot more appealing to him. But oh, what a good rally it was. It just shows the incredible athleticism of world-class badminton players, the ability to dive, get up so quickly, race from front to back, side to side. Yes, for people who don't think this is a tough sport, come and watch it. There's lots and lots of things to learn. His service returns have been exemplary against the low serve. Yeah, Kashev Kash have to start considering playing a flick serve or even a high serve to get Wong away. 
from the net and attacking that low serve. Tavistova, 30, 40. Fourteen all. And to me, it looks like Kashyap is having the upper hand mentally at the moment. He is picking up the shuffle very, very quickly, as soon as he can, and want to get play on his way as quickly as possible. He wants to be the one in control, and I feel he's got a little bit of an upper hand now mentally. Is hesitating. Ah. Yeah, a wonderful smash here. Very nice change. On many occasions, he's either going down the line, but mostly cross court, and this time he placed it at the body. And what a good change that was. Good smash here by Kashyap. Look at that. So having been 11-8 down at the mid-game interval, Kashev is suddenly back and up 15-14. Yeah, the last time he was in the lead was at 4-3 in this final game. Here we saw the flick serve. I think that was a clever move. <laughs> it thought about it and decided to go back. That is over 15. Player let. No, I'm not. Strange, because we started. Uh, he was putting his hand up, cash up, saying he was not ready. Well, Wong hasn't missed many of those little shots to the net. Serve. It's long. What a rally! Those fast attacks at each other. 15. Yeah, Kashyap did well to defend himself there. Got into the attack, and Wong, I think, made the right decision. Wanted to lift it over his opponent. Unfortunately for him, it was going too long. And look at that. Look how tight that was. Yeah. The proverbial whisker out. Just a few errors creeping in here for Derek Wong and at the crucial moment. Yeah. A little 
a bit of nerves are settling in here. Saw one of these very close-up pictures that uh, is slightly shaking. Covered by Wong. Yeah, very, very well played by Kashyap. He had total control in that rally, playing beautiful net shots and eventually setting himself very nicely up for the kill. I think this is where it's coming. No. So you keep playing that net all the time. And here it comes. Very, very nicely played. I will not be surprised if we see a flick serve here and Wong obviously have to go in and try to attack if it's a low serve. It's been very successful doing it. It's won only two of the last nine points though, Wong. Good attacking lift by Wong there. The way he went up and attacked that one and very fastly played it over the head of uh, Cash up on that one there, setting him up nicely. That was a good shot, nice attacking shot. And coming from 1916 down is Amir Bagatelle. He came from 1914 down in the semis. It's definitely possible. It's out. Particularly if his opponent starts getting nervous and starts making errors. stages of this match mixing it up with net shots and then suddenly these fast lifts as well these attacking lifts that's what I wanted him to do and I think he's doing that beautifully here well a uh, discussion as to whether to change the shuttle or not yeah 19 all final game what a final this has proved to be we're just coming up to the hour mark both men need two points for the gold medal.
that's good to see at the end of a superb final. It takes two to make a great final and Wong contributed hugely. The rank outsider at the start of the tournament. He came within two points of giving Singapore their first ever men's singles go medal. But Kasha was not to be denied. Desolation at the moment for Wong, but he'll have the consolation of a silver medal that he could be very proud of. They get his racket, he gets their flag. And the other team members and coaches coming out there. That's a good side of the man who so nearly made it an All-Indian final, but has taken the bronze. Also winning 21-19 in the final game of the bronze medal playoff against Rajiv Usef. And Morton, just from a neutral perspective, how wonderful to see a great men's singles final. It was a very good, <coughs> a very, very good final. The two first games went either way quite easily. But what we often see is when it comes to the final and very, very obviously important game, it all comes to light. And this was a perfect, perfect example of it. What a good match and what a good finish. And I think, in all honesty, cash up to serve to win. The final took one hour and one minute and it built to a thrilling crescendo. And you just hope that so many of the Scottish fans who came here to support Kirsty Gilmore obviously will have been disappointed, stayed on the watch and will have been energised and excited by the quality of badminton we saw in that final game. <laughs> Everybody wants a selfie. Or a common wealthy, as they're called. I'll tell you one thing, that'll add to uh, Kashuk's wealth. Not because there's any prize money involved here, but it won't half do his profile in India a load of good to be able to say, I am the Commonwealth champion. And there are the bare facts of the match. Parapali Kashup wins 21-14, 11-21, 21-19 in 61 minutes. In the absence of uh, Li Chong Wei, it was a very, very open affair in the men's singles. Kashup went on to win the first game 21-14. Never really under pressure in that first game, but Wong wanted it otherwise and took the second game very comfortably as well. What we saw was a, a very attacking Derek Wong as what I expected. And later on here we saw Cash up really having go, to go into the attack as well. Good play, all about the net, all about setting rallies up the smashing opportunities up from the net and we saw a very fine example of that today deciding game the game had a lot tighter start and Wong got off to an 11-8 lead at the mid-game interval Kashup came back and eventually won it 21-19 and can claim to be the Commonwealth Games gold champion men's singles 2014.
both men giving it all in that final game. Some grueling rallies, some fat flasks, exchanges, close line calls, moments of controversy. It's so many moments of excitement. One of those fast exchanges and Wong in the end just going long by the proverbial whisker as we said at the time with the lift. And this was the moment of triumph for Palapali Kashop. The moment he became the gold medalist. <laughs> Cue the celebrations. Uh, this is a happy man. So once again, Lance Corporal Stevie Bennett from the 1st Battalion, the Scots Guards, will commence the medal ceremony for the men's singles. and Singaporean, the medalists in the men's singles. His Royal Highness Prince Imran, the President of the Commonwealth the Games, will be present presented the medals. by President of the Commonwealth Games, His Royal Highness Prince Imran. Angela Stewart, Secretary General of the Commonwealth Games Association, Guernsey, will present the caches. Accompanied by Secretary General of the Commonwealth Games Association, Guernsey, Angela Stewart. The winner of the bronze medal, representing India, Avi Gurusaidut. Gurusaidut should really have been in the final as a game in 1914 up against Wong, but then had to fight so hard for the bronze medal, beating England's Rajiv Youssef, the silver medalist of four years ago, 
21-19 in the bronze medal playoff last night. The winner of the silver medal representing Singapore, Derek Wong. At 19 all in that final game. Just two points away from being the first man from his country to be the Commonwealth Games champion. Gold medalist and Commonwealth champion representing India, Parapali Kasha. Four years ago, he got a bronze in the men's singles, a silver in the team. Now he has the complete set. He's the gold medalist of 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of India. Let's celebrate our Commonwealth Games medalists! So India have a gold in the men's singles, and they do the double.